My parents basically just kind of invited me into the living room, sat me down and started off by saying, we have something really important we need to tell you. And then my life changed forever after that moment. It was on Father's Day weekend 2018 when Andrew Fleming was 32 years old that he learned a shocking secret from his parents. My dad, up until the, uh, who I believed, uh, who raised me, uh, my, was not actually my biological father. Andrew and his sister Sarah were conceived through an anonymous sperm donor, same donor making them full siblings. Sarah found out only a couple of months before her brother. I was actually starting to look at my own um, fertility journey and building a family, and it was the first time that I started asking some questions of how I was conceived. To be a full-grown adult and have that entirely turned upside down was very upsetting at first, but I said this that night that, like, you know, you're, just, you're still my dad, I still love you. The revelation began a new journey. They ordered DNA kits from several companies, first to learn more about their own genetic background, but then... I did look into DNA relatives and uh, sure enough, as soon as I clicked on that, there was somebody there waiting for me. Over the next few years, they would learn that they had not only one, but at least five donor siblings in their 30s and 40s located in Ottawa and BC. I remember the first time meeting everyone individually, except for you, Matt, I think, but everyone else I met individually first. And it was just like, that was just bananas. I was late to the Zoom meeting and I was late to this whole new sibs thing as well. <laughs> uh, so I'm the newer one. Did you notice sort of things that you had in common that you didn't realize? I always look at the eye color because most of us have the, the similar eye color. There's a photo, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but the expression of Andrea and Andrew, it's like, it's almost the same expression. They now organize get-togethers when they can. It's an experience they say has been positive, if surreal. Do you have any sense of how many more siblings could be out there? They said to our parents, from what we've compared for our, like what our parents have spoken about, is that they were only able to donate like a certain amount of times. However, is that true? If there are others, the group say they're open to connecting with them. In the meantime, Sarah is focusing on her new miracle, a daughter born just weeks ago who also happens to be donor conceived. What my parents were doing was so cutting edge at the time, but now it's really common. And so she will hear the story of how she was made from, you know, the moment that she can listen to stories, which I guess is now. Since the sibling's donor was anonymous, not much is known about him. They have no physical records, and they say the clinic in Ottawa where they were conceived closed in the 90s. As far as they know, no record survived. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.